hello guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will look at find the minimum area to cover all once one problem which is from read code number 3195 let's now read the problem statement in this problem you are given a 2d binary array grid find a rectangle with horizontal and vertical sides with the smallest area such that all the ones in the grid lie inside the rectangle return the minimum possible area of the rectangle so the important point to note here is the rectangle that we want to form must have horizontal and vertical sides which means that the sides must be parallel to the x-axis as well as parallel to the y-axis we cannot have a rectangle which is tilted or rotated okay so in this first example if you see we need to cover all the ones so since our goal is to uh, minimize the area of the rectangle then a larger rectangle will always have more area as compared to a smaller rectangle. So if you have let's say 1 1 1 1 you can cover it by a 2 by 2 rectangle or you can also cover it by a 4 by 4 rectangle right. But which one will make more sense here a 2 by 2 rectangle will make more sense because it has less area and it is also covering all the ones right. So uh, we want to minimize the sides of the rectangle too. In the first example, if you see, uh, can we form a tilted rectangle? No, we have to form it parallel to x and y axis. So you have to see that if you take this entire area itself, then this will be the minimum size rectangle which covers all the ones. And what is the area? The height is 2, you can say the length and breadth. So the breadth is 2, the length is 3 and therefore the area will be 6 ok so that is how the answer is 6 here so I think uh, it is straightforward if you look at the second example then you can just take a 1 by 1 uh, rectangle simply where the length is 1 and the breadth is 1 and the area will be 1 in, in such case to cover all the ones right so how many uh, points can be there if you look the number of rows and the number of columns or I will call it as M and N m is the number of rows n is the number of columns is less than equals to 10 to the power of 3 so if you write an mn algorithm where you parse the entire rectangle exactly one time that means the entire grid one time then that is going to be 10 to the power of 6 which is less than 10 to the power of 8 so this will pass okay if you write an mn algorithm it will pass now each of the items are either 0 or 1 because this is a binary grid and the input is generated such that there is at least one uh, one in the grid that means the answer is always present so i hope the constraints are clear now let's look at an idea to solve this problem let's say that on an xy plane we have a bunch of points what is the goal let's assume that these points are actually ones so our goal is to find the minimum area to cover all the points which will boil down to finding the smallest rectangle to cover or you can say to include all the points now if you want to find the smallest rectangle then will this be one rectangle which covers all the points yes it will be a rectangle which covers all the points but this may not be the smallest rectangle if you want to find the smallest one then maybe pushing this boundary down and making it touch to the to the point which is which which is the topmost point actually reduces the area and that is true so we will be decreasing this delta space right similarly pushing this lower boundary up and making it point to the lowermost point which is parallel to the x-axis that means the line must also be parallel to x-axis also makes sense and this will also reduce some delta value and repeat this for even the uh, line parallel to y axis and make it point to the leftmost point also you push it from the right right side and make it point to the rightmost point isn't it now the bounding box that you get here this bounding box is the smallest rectangle which can cover all the points okay so this is how you can imagine about what will be the size of the smallest rectangle and how do we find that we can find that by finding the topmost point, the bottommost point, the leftmost point, and the rightmost point. Okay, if we know only four points, I don't need to find any other point. 
if you just know the top most bottom most left most and right most then we can construct the smallest rectangle to cover all the points okay so this is how we will be doing our construction so this is the entire idea if you have understood this let's look at an example in this case i have taken a 4 by 5 matrix and in order to track the top most bottom most left most and right most i have taken four variables when i say topmost point then i am saying a point which, which is passed through a line parallel to x axis and it is lying at a lower i index that means row index so that i will be try, uh, tracking with the low x value okay and uh, when i say the bottom most point then i am saying a point which can be covered by a line parallel to x axis and that i will be covering with the high x value why the high x value is in the lower side because the value of this row is increasing when we move top down you can see here 0 1 2 3 and so on right similarly uh, when i say about covering the leftmost point then i am thinking about covering it with the line vertical which means parallel to y axis and this will be denoted by the low y value so i want to minimize the low y value and that's why i will be initializing it with the infinity or integer maximum i want to minimize the low x value so i will be setting this to integer maximum i want to maximize the high x value so i will be setting it to minus one because i know all the values are going to be either zero or positive and similarly i want to track the rightmost point which will be covered by the line parallel to y axis and this will be your high y value so since i want to maximize this value i will be setting high y to minus one as well now i just need to iterate from one cell to the other and i will be skipping all the zeros but whenever i find a one then i will be updating all these four values like let's see if you have a i iterator for the rows and j iterator for the columns and we will be iterating row wise then you will see a one at zero comma two at zero comma two so the row value is zero and the column value is two so what will be the low x value the low x value will be minimum of minimum of already known low x value comma whatever is the x value that we are seeing zero so this will be set to a new value zero high x value we, we are trying to maximize this right so maximum of the high x value will be maximum of high x comma whatever is the current row value that we are seeing so this will be zero okay so you will be resetting this to zero again the low y value i want to minimize this value so y means look at the y coordinate it is two so this will be set to two and i want to maximize this value so this will be updated to two now if you keep iterating then you will find the uh, set value at one comma three so when you reach to one comma three then look at the x value low x will be minimum of zero comma one so it will remain to be zero high x will be maximum of this zero comma one so this will be going to be one similarly the low y will be minimum of this two comma three which is two high y will be maximum of two comma three so this will be three and you can continue to this two comma one two comma one so again low x will not change high x will be maximum of one comma two so this will be two the low y will be minimum of two comma one so this is going to be one high y will be maximum of three comma one so this is going to be three only if you look at the last one then this is at index 3 comma 4 low x will not change high x will become 3 low y will not change high y will become 4 so we have tracked all the uh, x and the y points so low x value saying 0 here means that i need to create a line which is uh, which is uh, at row number 0 and parallel to the x axis high x saying 3 means i have to take a line at row number three which is parallel to x-axis low y equals to one means i have to take a line which is at column one and parallel to the y-axis and high y equals to four means i have to take a line vertical line which is going through column number four and this will create the bounding box this will create the bounding box okay so wherever the line is going that row and column must also be included 
so what we have to do is we can take high x minus low x you can say plus one because if you find out the difference between these two lines then this is going to be three minus zero plus one which is four because we are covering four rows zero one two three and you multiply this with high y minus low y plus one because if you see you are covering from one to four so if you find four minus one it will be three only but we are covering four columns so that's why we have to adjust it with plus one because the lines are also including that particular row and column so if you multiply them then you will get the actual area and in this case it will be three minus zero plus one four multiplied by four minus one which will be three plus one four so this is going to be sixteen so the minimum area will be 16 so the smallest rectangle to cover all the ones in the given matrix is going to be 16 i hope this entire technique is clear in this case we have to traverse through the entire matrix of size m by n exactly one time and the extra space taken is just these four variables therefore i will say that space complexity is order of one and the time complexity is order of mn which is the size of the entire grid I hope it is clear. Let's now look at the code. If you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months, then we have brought for you both the DSA and the system design live interview training program. The most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one on one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this problem we are given the grid and i will be finding the rows and columns and as explained I, we will be taking four variables low x low y high x high y right now i want to minimize the low values and i want to maximize the high values so i'll be iterating through each of the cell and if the cell value is actually one then i will be doing all the updates on the four variables and finally i will return the area of the smallest rectangle to cover all the ones i hope this is a simple approach and it is clear if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible see you guys in the next video thank you